Ah, we meet again, Nathan. Indeed we do. As you recall, last week when we reviewed the X1, I gave it a lease it, and I said that if it were my money, I would buy a Volvo XC60 T6. And guess what? He has a T6. That's right. For $200 less. Oh, you mean as tested? As tested. I get a bigger car with more utility that can go off-road versus what? This? A sport wagon. A mini sport wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three series with a big hatch. Hmm. I think there's a very simple way that we can check the disparity between the two. All right. What is that? A bet. All right. I see you're holding a scooter, Nathan. What is up with the scooter? This is my bet. All right. Zero to 60? Yeah. Let's see what your Swedish little meatball does against my German hot sausage. Yeah, but what's with the scooter? The loser gets to ride it home. <laughs> all the way home. Dude, that is a waste. Yeah, yeah. A couple miles. All the way home. This thing does great on the road. I mean, it's got these nice little wheels. You'll be fine. I will take you up on that bet because I believe in Swedish power. Swedish meatball, Roman, but do you have a six-cylinder engine? Yes, Nathan, I have a three-liter T6 engine, as you can tell. Oh, I was hoping it would be a five, but do you have a twin-scroll turbo? I do have a twin-scroll turbo, as a matter of fact, and I have 300 horsepower. Do you have 300 horsepower? Yes, I do. I have 300 horsepower, and I've got 300 pound-feet of torque, so there's a little bit of slap down right there on you. No, -uh, I've got 325 pound-feet of torque, which is what zero to 60 is all about. That is why you are riding that scooter home. <laughs> do you have a six-speed automatic transmission? I do have a six-speed automatic transmission. I thought that would be five, too. All right, do you have all-wheel drive? Of course. Of course he does. I have all-wheel drive. All right, I guess we're gonna have to settle this on the road. Well, I have all the faith in the world of my uh, Swedish meatball versus your Bavarian schnitzel there. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the X1, but the problem is it's just too expensive. For $48,000, you don't get a lot of, well, car for your money. In fact, this Volvo will go off-road, the X1 won't. And if you're interested in that review, check out tflcar.com because we've taken this guy off-road and it was phenomenal. Not only that, and here comes Nathan, of course. Not only that, but this car has 19-inch wheels. Nathan, what size wheels are on your BMW? Uh, 18 wheels, schmeels. Here's the thing. My car is like a little athlete. It likes to go around corners. It's like a, a rodent, you know? Just, it just goes really fast around corners. Yours doesn't, no matter what. I understand the point of a vehicle like this. However, my vehicle is a premium, small sports wagon. Think of it that way. Yeah, but my wife loves this car. Unfortunately, she who must be obeyed likes it too. So does my psycho sister-in-law. So does my crazy sister and a few naughty cousins. But I'll tell you this, that much estrogen in one vehicle may be good for you. All right, I'll give you this. In a straight line, this car is wonderful. When you take it into a corner fast, it's too tall, it gets a little wobbly. But you know what? That doesn't matter. For 90% of the time, when you take it off-road, when you take it in the snow, when you take it on a road trip, there's more room, there's just more utility, and that's why I would go with the Volvo all day long. It's going to be really funny when I kick your ass going zero to 60, because then you're going to start saying, well, you know, maybe I should have thought the other way around. <laughs> hey, get your scooter leg ready. Let's go do it. Well, folks, as Roman's setting up, I know for a fact that this car is capable of the high sixes easily. And it's just me this time because, well, we don't have an extra camera on today. So we're going to do zero to 60 
high altitude, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Let's just see if I manage not to screw it up. Here we go. This thing is really nice off the line. Smooth. <laughs> well, <laughs> damn. See, this is the thing. Big fat engine, little car. It's the same thing that works in muscle cars. The reason I'm saying that, zero to 60 in 6.1 seconds. And if I'm right, I believe I am, that's not too far off from what BMW estimates. So, despite the fact that I'm twice the size of an average test car driver, I managed to get this puppy to go to zero to 60 in 6.10, baby. Alright guys, I got a long way to scooter if I lose this. Now this car, unlike Nathan's, is mainly front wheel drive. And of course it's heavier, but I do have 25 pound foot of torque more than he does. So I'm gonna load it up a little bit, I'm gonna let it go, here we go. Come on Volvo, go for it. Oh yeah, there's a the turbo, 6,000 RPM, here comes 50, and here comes 60 right there. Oh. Oh my gosh! Now, Nathan went in uh, 6.1 and I went just a second over Here comes the Swedish meatball. All right, how'd you do? Dude, you're not gonna believe this. I went 5.99. You're kidding. Yeah, <laughs> I went 6.99. 6.99? Yeah, which That's is... Um, slower, slower yeah, last yeah. time I checked. Yeah, slower. Yeah, slower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope you're wearing good shoes. Uh, fudge. Nathan, I mean, look at all the room in the Volvo. The two of us fit in here. It's such a useful car. It is, and you know what? It's very comfortable, too. It is. I'm going to look forward to driving it back. Give me the keys. I mean, it's, keys. it's just... It's, it's, here, here, here's your ride. <laughs> it's a long way, you know? <laughs> Get out of it. Yeah, it's two miles and change. I'm thrilled. I'm having a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us for the Fastlane Car. This is Nathan Adlin saying see you next time. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh boy, it's been less than a mile. Hey, how you doing, buddy? About time. Quit screwing around and let me in, oh, please. Like, oh, hmm. Uh, please. No, 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 you know what? You lost your bet. Well, you know, I think you just need to. Oh boy, you look tired. I'll tell you what, let me stop. All let right. Me stop. <laughs> All right, Nathan, here we go. Now, when we did this without the aftermarket exhaust, it was 9.8 seconds to 60, and our little decimal meter here read uh, 73.6. So let's see if it's louder. It's already louder because I'm talking. So. Yeah, you see, that's, that's, that's how quiet this truck was that time. <laughs> we just shut everything down, make sure. I Everything's think, off. Uh, Turn Every haul mode is off. Um, Let's see. We want the same exact setup. The same, same, yeah, All same right. conditions. Go for it, dude. I didn't burp yet though, because I got to burp and actually get that burrito out of me that I had earlier. <laughs> Should I just make do it a little bit Yeah, I might knock off a pound. That was a big burrito. No, but let's tell them that we're a mile above sea level, so it's going to be slower. Should be a little bit slower. Okay, you guys ready? Yep. Now be quiet, because I got to use this. Go for it.